on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Uh, wait, what, what's going on? Uh, there's this sludge villain thing. What? What? Yeah, the heroes can't do anything. He has a hostage. Catch on. Who? As yes, the second sludge villain incident. It still happens. Oh my, he's had that talk with Zuku. Like, yeah, I don't think he can be a hero without a quirk. <laughs> and yeah, he dropped the bottle. Bongo, he is dying. And just like in canon, Izuku runs in without thinking. Only thing is, as soon as he goes to scrape off the sword villain to help Bago breathe, a large explosion comes from his hands, blowing the sword villain to pieces, freeing Bakugo. But oh, the amount of destruction is a lot more than they anticipated. Everyone is shocked. All my is like, I, I thought you didn't have a quirk. Bakugo is looking like, wait, is that my quirk? The heroes... Well, uh, well, just, don't just stand there. Scoop him up. As soon as he's captured, he is like, well, kid, that was very reckless and you shouldn't have done that. Okay, but... Thank you very, very much for, for your help. Is Then, yes, everyone just starts to bum rush Bakugo, the heroes, and <laughs> Izuku, of course. Asking him, how, is he sure, was he sure that that was going to work? How did he know that using his amazing explosion quirks... I didn't even know I had a quirk. What? All my stopping in his booth was like, what is he? Wait, what did you say? What did you say? <laughs> wait, wait, what are you talking about? When when I was young, I was diagnosed quirkless. And so. <laughs> what? Yeah, the doctor said I didn't have a quirk. So, I lived most of my life quirkless. I didn't even know I could do that. Huh? Bogo, upon hearing this, is like, he's a late bloomer. And he has an explosion quirk. As he is, All Might's looking back at the destruction Izuku caused. He has a quirk that powerful. And he just unlocked it. Everyone is just looking at the sheer magnitude of his destruction compared to what the Sludge Villain can create. And they are shocked that... So you didn't practice. You didn't know that was going to happen. Then the heroes chime in. Like, wait a minute. So you didn't know you had a quirk. You were, uh, you know, diagnosed quirkless. So, and as we can see, you're, I guess, a late bloomer. Right. So you didn't know. <clears throat> you had no idea. That you were going to do that. You're telling us. You ran in to save this boy. Not knowing you had. You had a quirk. Completely. <clears throat> what? As yes. The news reporter is like. He's pretty much shocked that you. Knowing. At least thinking yourself quirkless. Just ran in to save someone from a hostage situation. 
oh, I mean the fact that I thought I was quirkless and still try to save him? Yes! It makes no sense. Why would you do that? Well, my body just moved on its own and I just wanted to save him, or at least try. You could have been killed. You could have been added another hostage to that villain's list. But it would have been worse with that if I could save Gachan. Who was that? Pouring at Bakugo. <laughs> That's a weird name. It's a damn nickname he used to call me as kids. Oh, so he was your friend. Yeah. We're not friends. Oh. Well. You st To me, you, st you are. So, either way, besides the whole quirkless, you know, at least you being a late bloomer thing, that much power is a lot. You're, you're, you're going to have to dial it back a little bit. Do you mind? Well, I don't know how to really... Oh god, you don't have any real control over it, do you? No. No. Uh, so, that was all luck. I bet that you just so happened to have an explosion quirk. Luckily, it worked. But if you were still quirkless, then what? What was your plan? I didn't have one. I just... Huh. Oh, kid. Thank goodness you did have a quirk. Who knows what could have happened? <sighs> Either way, that's... Mm. Get, get, get a handle on that. I can see you become a great hero with a quirk like that. Just... Uh, you, you just need more control. Don't need you causing a... All, too much destruction on the job now. Them just walking away. News reporter still asking him a crap ton of questions. And as soon as he arrives home, he can see Mitsuki and Musaro in front of Inko. Inko, she's crying as Masaru, he's on his knees as Mitsuki's hovering above both of them. Thank you. Y'all motherfuckers better explain yourself. Is he your No! I swear! He is not mine. <laughs> what was going on here? <sighs> Izuku dear, seems like... Uh, there... Hizashi... May not have been... Wait, what? Miski, I swear to you, me and Masaru have never... <sighs> let's take a test. Let's let's make sure of this. First, uh, he's a goose spit in this cup. What? what? Do it! <clears throat> you too, bastard. Uh, wait, but if he was my... Wouldn't he, wouldn't he shut the fuck up and just do it? Uh, <clears throat> they wait... A considerable amount of time for a Tesco bag was. Uh... See, told you he he ain't mine. Okay, but I still don't explain the quirk. Well, quirks can be very weird, and you never know how things can be different. Heck, it was the fact that I was a late bloomer instead of just being plain old quirkless. Right. Okay, okay, that makes... Either way. You go, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it's... It's fine. No, no, it's not. I... I was super mean when I didn't have to be. I, I called you all sorts of things and... I'm sorry. It's just... I understand. The quirks is... 
who wouldn't be suspicious? Huh, right. Good job on unlocking your quirk, Izzy. Okay. <sighs> Either way. So, you have an expulsion quirk. Yeah, it's weird. I, I wonder why the quirk doctor was wrong. It makes no sense. Hmm. Actually, it could be a copy quirk or some kind. I'm going to go back to the quirk doctor to really know for sure. Upon going back, they surmised what had actually occurred. Due to seeing Bakugo in such a state, someone in trouble to a point where, yes, they could die, or villain could win, or yeah, 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 anything. This is what sparked, huh, funny enough, Izuku's quirk. Which it is an explosion quirk like Bakugo's, except it's more advanced or in a more evolved version of it. Now, when it comes to Miski and Masaru's type of quirk, since Masaru has the point where he, he rubs his hands together or can create a spark with them, and Miski has glycerin like sweat that keeps her skin on point. I mean it, damn. When it comes to Inko's quirk, her being able to actually gather small things around, at least towards her. And Hazashi's quirk, where, yeah, he needs something flammable to ignite before it actually becomes fire breath. This in Izuku has caused a very interesting turn of events, in which he Yes, his sweat is what's become the flammable material. Only thing is, except when it comes to him actually using it, this is where Ingo's quirk actually comes into play. It gathers around his body, or at least in a point where he's emphasis it. He's trying to aim it. Kind of like pouring a gun or just trying to rework a river somewhat. So when Izuku wants to spark, he can do it anywhere. It's not just limited to his hands. He just uses Inko's quirk to gather it up, you could say. So, yeah, when Izuku finally used his quirk on the stutter villain, it wasn't just him using the sweaty palms. It was him gathering up as much sweat he could at that moment at time and releasing it all on that one point in his hands. So, yes, Bago can sweat natural glycerin like substance throughout his whole body. It's just Izuku who can do that too. He can just say Naya wherever he wants. So yeah, hearing this, and as well as going back to school and whatnot. Yeah, everyone knows what happened. They saw it. So they are bum rushing Izuku wanting to know what the hell. Him explaining it. Bakugo learning that not only does he have an explosion quirk, it is better than his. In fact, since Izuku now has a quirk, he needs to learn about the applications for it, what he can do with it, considering how well the quirk doctor explained everything. So, one point, he snatched up Izuku's notes, reading it, saying like, fucking nerd, this isn't about me, I can't do this, like, Izuku just snatching it back, saying, this is for me. Bago's whole world just got rotten more than once. It's just...
So where where are mine? What? Where are the notes about me? Uh, you destroyed that. Uh, besides, I don't need to do notes on you anymore. What? Yeah, I mean, we pretty much had the same quirk, except mine is what? Yours is what? Better? The whole classroom just goes silent as yes, Izuku pretty much not trying to be an ass, not trying to be mean at all. He's like, he said, yeah, my quirk is totally better than yours. So yeah, Bakugo is, in all accounts, pissed. And this is before the 10 months. Just, just because. Why? Because this is when actually All Might stops Izuku when class is all over. He's on his way home. <sighs> I'm sorry about what I said. Uh, what? Saying that you couldn't be a hero. Oh. That's... That's fine. I mean, you, you, if anything, I would like to make it up to you. Just to say sorry. I would like to train you. Help you get better used to this quirk. But all the training I need is right here in my notes. No, I mean actual training, because I'm sure you don't have a place where you can actually use that quirk of yours, to actually utilize it. <sighs> mm, no. No, I can't. Well, how about this? I'll train you in a place where you can use your quirk to its fullest and which you can actually use those notes of yours and actually apply them really? of course I just realized uh, how much weight my words can actually carry as an M1 hero what? Let's just say, I should be actually very careful on how I say things and who I say them to. Because after that conversation with you, I started thinking about huh, how I could have said things better. And that just may, may seem that much more crazy hearing your little interview. What do you mean? Like when you said that you didn't even know you had a quirk. Oh. Right. <clears throat> yeah. I must say that is very noble of you. In fact, chances are if you didn't allow that handy quirk of yours, I probably would have stepped in. Really? Yes. I think uh, you inspired me for that moment. It's, it's a good thing you had you unlocked your quirk and all, but uh, that would have been a good hero moment for both of us, wouldn't it? Uh, right. <laughs> I, I'm very sorry about that, no, just, it's alright, none of us knew what was going to happen, and if anything, I think your story is very inspiring, in a way, how do you mean, well, like you said, you didn't know you had a quirk, you didn't know you were going to unlock it, you, <laughs> 
you pretty much run in there blind like a man possessed. You would have still tried, quirk or no quirk, when the heroes were pretty much stuck. So, at the very least, I should train you. Yeah. So, will you accept? Yes! Of course I will!